and Mina. And now G2 takes on Rule 1. And Johnny, with all the attention on the top dogs, like Beast Mode, like someone like Naupo, I think the key here is which sleeping giant is going to wake up between Daniel and O'Callaghan. Yeah, this could be the quality win for North America. It could be the quality win for G2. Now, outside of the team killed Gia Gen G over G2. Their best win they've had is against Power. Uh, that was Gen G as well yesterday. But now they're in with a chance to really get a quality win on the board. I think if G2 show up with the form that we saw yesterday, I, I, I think they struggle, but I don't think they will show up. I think they're going to improve. We've all seen what this team could do online. We just saw BDS regained between day one and two, showing up like a different level of a team. I expect the same thing out of G2 here as well. I think they, they are going to win this series. I think they're going to look good doing it. They get to redemption day for a lot of these teams trying to show that Day one was a little bit more of a fluke. ocala has got this one swept out to the side. Atomic's still right there. G2 trying to keep the pressure on as Daniel will slow it up. And he gave that one right to Ahmad. Now Napa will give way to ocala Atomic is still there. G2 on the doorstep. But they can't break through the defensive rule one just yet. And G2 do have to be careful pressing forward. Rule one, one of the most defensive teams in the tournament. Definitely a defensively sound team. That's a great fake by Beast Mode Atomic. Shot it wide right though. So it's gonna naturally clear itself. Daniel getting active. This is what we want to see from him. And the irritable bump pass leads to Beast Mode, who sticks it top bins. That is more like it from G2. Daniel involved and Beast Mode on the board. Daniel with his fifth assist, even though he's not scoring, he at least got one on the board for Beast Mode. Everything looked like slow motion there for Rule 1. It looked like they were just kind of biding their time, waiting for the shot, and then all of a sudden, the shot came in a lot harder than they expected. Yeah, Khaled's line of challenging was blocked by uh, Daniel. He did a great job covering Khaled's only line to go up and save that. The air double bump pass has definitely been popular. They've had big success, depending who's playing. Not so much success against Falcons, but uh, you know, luckily for G2, Rawas doesn't play for Real One, so I think they should be able to get the air dribble passes working. And here come Real One with their first real look at the G2 goal, and it isn't the best look as G2 easily break free from defense. Well, Khaled trying to get around Atomic. He's done so. There's the demo. Things open up maybe now for Rule 1. Well, has got to scramble to that midfield boost. He's got it. And now he's going to have to use some of it as he waits on the ground. And Napo will take that instead. I would have wondered if maybe Okala could have gone up the wall for that. But instead, he plays a lot more passive. And it works out for Rule 1. Daniel, decent challenge to get that back over towards Atomic. He just haven't felt like G2 have been threatened so far in the first half of Game 1. Yeah, G2 haven't really been pressed, like you said. Rule 1 do play a lot of defense. Now, here's a chance for them. So Ahmed and Naupo get going in a brief 2v1. Daniel's back to help out, though. That will block Khaled's shot. And Naupo's follow-up also heavily blocked by G2, who are hitting the counter-attack now. Activity on the play there from Naupo. Could have gone for boost, but instead he just stayed active in the middle. He's really put himself in a tricky position there to help his teammates out. Oh, Daniel. Oh, what a way to score his first. But it didn't happen there. Denied by Nalpo. Now Beast Mode. Challenged by Ocala. Daniel set it up for Atomic off the corner. Daniel at least keep it alive here. Atomic demo. Beast Mode almost converts, but that's swept out as well. So while G2 keep the pressure on, all these scoring opportunities, they still only have one through. The problem for Rule 1 right now, they don't have a shot on goal. That might change here. Yeah, they've not even one shot to eight from G2. G2 did have a few arguments with the crossbar yesterday, so that might have you know, bothered Atomic a little bit to hit the crossbar again. And then Beast Mode with a tough overhead read makes it good, but not the best clear, actually. He's going to stay on the backboard, cover that to make sure Ahmad's double tap can't come through. And still no shot for G2, and what a play on transition by G2. There's no shot for real one, I meant to say. And what a catch by Beast Mode, offload down the middle to Atomic. Khaled thought he was going to need to challenge. Beast Mode there did not have any chance of getting back in time. He was left all alone in the midfield on an island. 1.15 to go. G2 slowly but surely pressing their advantage. Now Atomic stuffs that one right through Nalpo. And then he bumped him away. So now Daniel's shot on target by Ahmad with the save. Now Beast Mode. He'll try his luck with Atomic waiting in support. Final minute now for G2. 
Up two now on rule one. Rule one still yet to have a shot through the first four minutes plus. Yeah, and I think you, you, you do want to see a little bit more control out of rule one. They've really not given G2 a hard time at all in this match. I mean, G2 have kind of had the midfield for free. I, I don't really think rule one have done enough to contest that. Um, G2 haven't been pushing the pace too much, and they've still had a very, very easy win in the pressure department. So, rule one, too defensive for my liking. Not enough uh, control. They're going to need to step that up massively if they're going to have a chance in this matchup. G2 do look like an improved roster. They're getting everybody into attack, which was not really happening yesterday. It's more an individual effort. Can Daniel get his first goal? Yes, he can! Daniel's on the board. It's 3-0 G2. And that is a massive, massive boon for his confidence. Yeah, and how about this? One, two, three. Just, hey, you take it, even if it's in garbage time. You see the ball go through the net. And then that can open things up. G2, absolutely superb in game one as they shut down rule one. And maybe NA can actually get a win over just trying to funnel as much of the possession to him as possible would be the plan, uh, in my opinion. Just trying to get Nepo into the game. Half flip kickoff for G2. We'll get them a nice back corner possession here. It's great to see every team starting to do this now. Be sure to try that one at home and uh, watch the ball go straight into your net as you fail your half flip. <laughs> hey, at least they're not constantly turning up field and giving up freebies as we're often running on Forbidden Temple. Great to see the old map back as Atomic will race back to his own corner and play this from his backboard. Needed one more touch, though, to kind of press the issue downfield. Rule one allowed to get a shot, and now a follow-up. Nopo tried to line up a double from the ground, and Beast Mode not having any of it. Yeah, solid defense out, Beast Mode. They are trying to keep rule one as frustrated as possible, and that might be open. It is for Atomic. And once again, it's just too easy for G2 who opened the game in game two as well. Naipo trying to keep control of the back corner, but he lost it. And unfortunately for Will One, that has been a running theme in these games. And it's not a team that particularly plays well from behind either in rule one. So being tested like this early by G2, I mean, they, at least they have a lot of time to work with. But the offensive prospects are not promising so far. Atomic. Possession plays. He'll try and bring this through mid. Doesn't have anybody in support, so he's just trying to buy time and got the boost deal out of the corner. It does just feel like Rule 1 moving not quite in slow motion in the defensive end, but it looks like G2 are able to take almost whatever they want. Yeah, I think it's been very comfortable for G2. They could definitely play faster than this, but they haven't really needed to. They've had quite a lot of time on the ball. Uh, you know, I'm surprised that we haven't seen more 50-50s from Rule 1. Mina, a region obviously quite known for the 50-50 game, having to play on European service with Haiping does train you to be pretty good at uh, winning 50-50s when you make it onto a LAN and you don't have that disadvantage. Yeah, we, want, we obviously want to see more out of the underdog teams in matchups like this. We want to see G2 be tested. They're not being tested right now. Beast Mode trying to clip on them. Denied by Ama. Oh, they could be here. Here's Okalid. Going to work, going after Atomic, got the air dribble bump, but Beast Mode there for the stop. Now Nopo, nothing there as it ricochets back to Ahmad, trying to read Daniel, drop it down in front and nobody's home. So G2 has the easy clear. And again, it just proves that it, you don't have three strong attackers and if you have the wrong person there to follow up, it's just not going to work out. Atomic now out of the corner. G2 trying to keep it running here. The goal, uh, the lead still just the one goal here, Johnny, at the halfway mark. Yeah, it's similar to that first game where G2 get the opening goal and they're not really forcing the issue. They are quite happy to, you know, continue to wait for mistakes and wait for the clear cut chances. But it's a dangerous game to play, not trying to really pressure when you have an advantage in a series, and now they are conceding shots. That's Naupo rattling the crossbar. Ahmad looking to get involved as well, but Boost running out for real one here. They don't want to get caught in the counterattack like they did as they were pushing for an equalizer in the first game. Well, that's what we need to see out of real one. More aggression, more second and third chance opportunities. As now Ahmad trying to kick that back out to Okala. He's got Naupo in behind him. There he goes, sets it up in beast mode. Still stuffs it out. And G2 maintain their one goal lead, but for how much longer? 
Ahmad going in on Atomic. It's popped away, but only as far as Ocalid. We're seeing a much more aggressive rule one. It hasn't yielded any fruit just yet. Ahmad, give way to oh. Nopo, and Beast Mode will just calmly gather, but gave that one away, and Atomic oh. just avoids Nopo. Again, the pressure's there now from rule one, but they can't get through. Oh, that was a great save by Atomic. If he was demoed or bumped there, definite goal. It was on target, but he managed to avoid that bump, like you mentioned, and then the save afterwards was relatively routine. Still more life from rule one, a much more promising game from them. But they have to be so careful pressing forward, not to concede on the counter, like they did in the last game. They don't want to let this one get away from them. So for now, they are still in this competitively. What can Ahmad do off the sidewall? Backboard is his direction of choice, but Beast Mode is there to carry the ball to safety. Oh, they've got to start running forward now, and oh. they do! It's O'Khaled who ties the game with 47 to go, set up by that win by Nalpo. Oh, Daniel just missed ready. He thought the ball was bouncing up the wall. It hits the post flat, and the recovery did not come in time for G2's third. Rule one, off the back of an extended pressure play, do get their first goal of the series. This is much better from them. They're really contesting the midfield now. And they might actually have another opportunity here. Beast Mode with a hard clear. We're seeing plenty of heroics from Ahmad against G2, in fact. Does he have another one in him, perhaps? As Rule 1 try to battle back? Oh, oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> he watches Atomic bounce one right behind. Oh, what a cut by Beast Mode. And what a pass as well. Middle off the side wall. Everyone in the Rule 1 roster expected that to go closer to the goal area. And they were not ready to contest Atomic, who snipes it underneath the pre-jumping defenders. And G2 back in front with 29 seconds to go. Got to be disheartening for Rule 1. They finally figured it out, but they still could take an L for their efforts. Here goes O'Khaled. Can he get another? He's got Ahmad underneath, and Beast Mode with the initial save. Takes it away from Ahmad as well. 14 seconds as time ticks away. Beast Mode, good 50 in the air, Whoa. but whiff out in front. And then everybody just <laughs> leaves it for Daniel. What in the world happened there? Rule one let an opportunity go by, and G2 kill it. <laughs> well, G2, 2-0 up in the series. In game one, they didn't let rule one have any shots there, but once rule one started getting opportunities, you started to see G2 look very uncomfortable in that second game. That could bode well for rule one, but they've got a long road ahead of them here in game three. Yeah, this is a, a long way back for a real one, like you mentioned. And, you know, we spoke earlier on during the Power Series. That's if you are a Power fan and you want Power to have an easier matchup, at least according to the Swiss seeding, then you want G2 to sweep, you want Carmi Corp to sweep. And right now, both those things are happening. Carmi Corp back from behind against Complexity in Game 1 to win it. And now running away with Game 2 as well. And uh, much like Vitality in the earlier B stream round, we can here pretty loudly every time Carmi Corp score. Yeah, and they're not even the team that's closest to us. <laughs> that, that's how amped up it's they true. are. <laughs> O'Khaled will run under this, and Nopo will try to run away from Atomic to grab the midfield boost. O'Khaled set up Nopo, and he's not able to score past the defense of G2. Here goes Beast Mode now. Just serving one up, try to maybe get a boost deal out of the corner. O'Khaled beat him to it. Now here goes Nopo, his shot blocked away high in the air. But again, Rule 1, after having no semblance of offense in Game 1, they get the 10 shots in Game 2, had it tied up for a little bit. And the momentum might actually be starting to tilt in their favor just a little bit. But certainly, end of last game, start of this one, it's been mostly Rule 1 in offense, which is a rare thing for them, at least when they play against Falcons in their own region. They play pretty much permanent defense, as a lot of teams who play Falcons unfortunately have to do. I'm very curious to see G2's mentality here. Will they really go for the win here? Will they take risks? Or are they going to wait for a misplay, which could very easily come from Rule 1? That was a great try by Beast Mode. Ceiling reset, double tap attempt. It's defended well by Rule 1. The follow-up actually going behind Khaled. It's awkward for Rule 1 briefly. And that looks like they have got it away from danger. Well, part of the strength of G2 as well is you can afford to sometimes sit back and wait for mistakes Whoa. and create them. Oh, oh Atomic what? missed one top right. Speaking of mistakes, now Beast Mode put one high as well. It's cleared off to the right. Can Beast Mode get around on this? No, Khaled just goes right through him for the clear. G2 had an opportunity there, turned away. 
Beast Mode now going to work. Daniels there as well, but so too is the defense of Ahmad. Yeah, solid save there from Ahmad. Beast Mode again cutting these clears early. He's been breaking rotation in order to get interceptions. Atomic does it as well. They're now looking at Beast Mode ahead of the ball. This is the kind of aggression that we want to see out of G2. But can they find the balance right? Can they actually hit the target? Yes, I think they had a couple of chances there, which were off target for no reason. I mean, it's difficult to react to misses, but you've got to do that. You've got to be clinical when those mistakes do come through from row one. Well, Daniel picks up a pair of demos. That snuffs out the rule one attack for the moment. As now Daniel throw it forward to give his teammates time to get boosted up. They needed it desperately, as Atomic and Daniel do, but then Atomic blown up, so it doesn't really matter. Beast mode. On target with the oh, third touch, but what? still not in. What? And that pinball oh around. My goodness. Rule one, walk a high wire act to get out of danger. <laughs> How on earth did they save that point blank great shot? Absolutely slammed on target, and it's hit, I think, two rule one defenders, and combined, they somehow kept it out. G2 are all over them, though. The pressure just keeps on coming. Beast mode with a free shot. That one's saved as well. Well, Napo had to get free from Daniel in the net, and then Recovered in time to make the save. Beast Mode now try again. Atomic running forward. Didn't get anybody. Beast Mode drop it down. Score for himself. Surely. No, Daniels there. What? And a Surely. Brick wall. <laughs> the post comes to the rescue as well. Rule one again get away. And now Ahmad one on one with Daniel and Daniel with the stop. Oh, thank goodness for G2 that Ahmad didn't have boost there. Daniel comes up huge in the 1v1 defensively. But Rule one getting away by the skin of their teeth in this game. They have somehow held this nil-nil. G2 attacking them relentlessly for a couple of minutes, and now it's back, back to the midfield. Final minute of a series, perhaps, that every game has taken on a very different form. Rule 1 will try to extend that series, but they need a goal somewhere. Malpo blocks Atomic. Okalid loses that 50 out to Beast Mode. There's the demo on the back side. And then Daniel put it wide, no second touch. Here goes Beast Mode, his shot saved away from Ahmad from the ceiling of the goal. And again, G2 turned aside at least temporarily. Yeah. Nalpo will bring it out of the corner again. Now Daniel finally cleared out at least past midfield. No, not even then. Yeah, Beast, Beast Mode really turning early every single time here. They know they've got a boost advantage. They're trying to get this in regulation before Real One can get back to a kickoff. Not looking like it's going to happen, though. Naipo with a pinch clear. That one actually might be on target. No way! Oh, oh my oh goodness! My. Naipo nearly steals it. That was on target, but the ground comes to G2's rescue. And Daniel was not going to catch up to that. Oh, a divine intervention for G2. But will it run out? Naipo for the win. No, met by Atomic. It's back into the middle, though, Naipo. Trying to keep the attack alive. Here's Ahmad. He's got some space. To the ceiling he goes. Over the top of one by Tomic. High on the backboard to get the ball clear for G2. The backboard again covered. This time by Daniel. And he finds Beast Mode on the wing. Disheartening yet again for Rule 1. Having that opportunity die at the goal line. As Ahmad and Okalid went to the air. It's Ahmad that calls him off. So Okalid still had plenty in the tank. He can get down quickly. He's going to need to. And still kind of just hanging around in midfield. Letting his teammates get back oh as Napo and Ahmad almost ran into each other and well they'll get good fortune as this one's cleared all the way downfield and a bit of a reset for both teams that's a great cut again by Beast Mode spotting the pass before it comes towards them Beast Mode has been key with the interceptions for G2 that's really stifled a lot of counter attacks before they can get started stopped a lot of rule one offense before it can get too dangerous G2 will feel like they should have already had this one in the bag and a sweep would be the perfect start to their day. It's getting a bit tricky now as Rule 1 escaped that constant pressure that G2 had on them. It's a good touch by Khaled in defense as well. Just wasted a bit of time, finds Naipo. Now the counter attack for Rule 1. Khaled shot off the post, that was almost through. And at least read better this time by the G2 defense. A little bit wider than the post. As now Naipo right at Daniel. Daniel, who got his first goal. Kind of in garbage time of game oh, wow. one. Now Nopo with the save there on Beast Mode's effort. G2 not able to generate second oh, or third my. chance opportunities. Nopo trying to put on a show. Daniel, the initial save. Khaled now, drop down for Ahmad. Denied this time. And G2 again, keen eyes spotting these infield passes. 
making sure that they've got someone ready to close it down. Real one. Looking to get on the board here. Every game matters in Swiss. But G2 have had the vast majority of the shots and the vast majority of the clear-cut chances in this game. 16 to 9. So this would definitely be a bit of a steal for real one. Here comes Daniel, though. G2 looking to sweep it. Atomic's getting involved. Awkward shot on target that Ahmad does well with. Oh, Napo go to work. Looking for the winner, but again, met by beast mode as Daniel sweeps it off the backboard. Hey, look, if you can't win the challenge with the ball, do the next best thing. Get the attacker. Oh, pass. So, great play by our Khalid as he ate a demo for his efforts. Nalpo from the wing, and he just couldn't connect with Ahmad. Yeah, it looks like Nalpo knew he needed to hit that pass hard or it was going to be intercepted again. That's what G2 have been doing. Akala with a reset near ceiling height. Just three boosts to his name. Decides to go for the fake, and it gets red by G2. I like that start from the defensive end, though. It looked like he was in a lot of trouble. Almost baited Beast Mode in. Now Ahmad, met by Daniel, deep in Rule 1 territory. Atomic, serve it up for Beast Mode. No, Khaled with the save. And Ahmad sweeps that out of harm's way. G2 still holding possession or trying, oh. but that demo by Khaled may change things in a big, big way. Nelpo needs one more touch, but he's going to fall by the wayside. So now Ahmad to the corner. Atomic. Can't really shake him as this goes dangerously in front. Now, but with the demo, things opening up now for rule one, but they still can't get the critical shot on target. And G2 are reading every single mind game from rule one in these exchanges. I think rule one are going to need to just try and get a clean out play. G2 are not going to give it to them easily. Oh, another good setup by Napo, but still met by the G2 defense. Now, Khalid, familiar position at the back, trying to trigger the counterattack. It is Nalpo. He got through, but he's going to need help as Daniel's got that high above the backboard, and he'll take it over Ahmad. Atomic to end the oh. series tonight by Khaled. What a save by Khaled. Really up against it there. Had to worry about lots of different options for G2. He just waited patiently and managed to save it off the inside of the post towards Nalpo, who's waiting in the middle to help him out. Always rotating back with activity. Nalpo. On the transition, Daniel with the backboard coverage. G2 covering backboard, covering infield passes, and solo plays so well in this game. Powerful clear, but nobody else there to receive it. So Daniel will collect in the corner. Plenty of boost on the side of rule one. They all got boosted up there. Now, Po, road forward. Ahmad was trying to pester G2 on their offensive end. And now it's Ocalid for the win, this time denied by Atomic. Then what, Ocalid's had a few good looks at the G2 net. And again, we kind of talked about the sleepers here between these two teams, Daniel oh. and Khaled, as Khaled will sweep this one away. They both got a goal to their credit. But who is going to break through here in this lengthy overtime in game three? Could it be Ahmad? Yet again against G2 towards Khaled and swept away. Yeah, they're afraid to pass that infield too close to defenders, rule one. G2 threatening that counter attack every single time. And now Beast Mode with a solo play off the ceiling. Challenged early down to Atomic. He's looking to bring Daniel into the play, but Daniel shoots this straight at Naupo, who had no boost there, hardly any momentum. Quality of the shot not there for G2. Yeah, Naupo just sitting there in the net. He thought about coming out, realized he had to back in, and it works out well enough for rule one. They stay alive here in game three. Daniel trying to bring this out. Atomic against Ahmad. Surely. Daniel trying to get Surely. in his way. Drop down, what? and he could not convert. Daniel couldn't follow it either. So yet again, rule one let off the hook, and they'll go right back to work. G2 have 21 shots and no goals. 15 saves for rule one. Some of them have been spectacular. Some of them have left me questioning if G2 need a map to remember where the goal is. But for the most part, G2 have really stepped it up since yesterday. And they can just get across the finish line here. 3-0 on their first series of the day. Their confidence will be through the roof for the rest of Swiss. Oh, and after this long overtime, Rule 1 are able to extend the series. Start worrying a little bit about G2. That one ricochets right to Ahmad. We'll throw it downfield. Napa was there, but so too is Beast Mode. Atomic met by Ahmad. Beast Mode shot is saved away by Nalpo. Good boost deal, though, by Atomic. That could be costly for Rule 1, but that big clear will relieve a ton of pressure. Seven minutes overtime. We're into a top 10 longest overtime on an RCS LAN. 
And counting, but Ahmed Zalkward, he does well to recover. That was nearly a disaster for Rule 1, but instead it turns around, and now it's going G2. <laughs> G2's defensive way. Huge clear by Beast Mode. Atomic can't get on the end of it. After a snail's pace for a brief moment, we go end to end with power clears. I don't know, one constant I found. Once D-Rex starts telling us how long these overtimes are historically, they're not long for this world. It's real one again. <laughs> what is it with this team and <laughs> right? long overtimes? Totally new roster, still stuck in an incredibly long overtime where they're in the process of being swept. North America's first win against Mina here in the Swiss stage. Gonna come at a high price if they're to close it out here. Beast mode. Bank it out. It's not going to go to a teammate. Now Poe's there instead. So now Daniel played indirect for himself. Left it instead for beast mode. Serve it up at the backboard. Nobody jumping, but the shot's still high and wide. Not very handsome at all. And rule one can break out again. They have oh. a numbers advantage. Oh. Now Poe from the wing. Can he keep it in? No, I'm uh, just there a little too late. All huge shots there for rule one. G2 scrambling back effectively. We've crossed eight minutes into OT. And if we can make nine minutes and four seconds, it'll be the fourth longest overtime in RLCS LAN history. We're actually well on the way there. Both teams looking solid in the midfield. Here's Ahmad. Can he win it? No. Beast mode again reads the fake and does some more as well. Great work by him. Help a G2 out of defense again. Uh, quality opportunities. There have been plenty on either side as this test of endurance continues. Ahmad lost that one. So Khaled. All alone at the back, no problem. He's getting real used to it at this point. As he'll get beat one, but not two. Now oh, Daniel, surely yes, he does! Yes. Daniel scores just under nine minutes of overtime, and G2 sweeps.